For more than 100 years, Pittsburgh's trolleys have served as a practical and central means of transportation throughout the city. But if you were around in the 80s, you may remember a trolley car that was more than just a ride downtown. Yeah, and now as John Shumway reports, it's going to be a piece of history. It looks like a football helmet. In 1981, trolley cars stood out from the rest. Pittsburgh Area Transit 1713, a.k.a. the Terrible Trolley, was not Pittsburgh's average trolley car. It has the Steeler logo on the side. What's, well, I think it's kind of cool. It has the four Super Bowls, and it has this, this, the players' numbers along the top, along each side of the car. But its origin does not stem from the Steelers. We have a large archives, and we have a lot of old Port Authority records, and we found the original letter from Kim Sever, a nine-year-old, to Mayor Calagiri in January 1980, suggesting to the mayor that, um, the, uh, that they have a trolley painted, the terrible trolley, to honor the Steelers. My grandmother, who I lived with at the time, was really into letter writing. And so I brought this idea of the terrible trolley to her, and she said, well, write a letter to the mayor about it. Maybe they'll do it. Shortly after receiving Kim's letter, Mayor Caligiri wrote back saying he would forward her idea to the Port Authority. Seven days later, the Port Authority filed a document greenlighting the terrible trolley. That year, the terrible trolley ran every day until it was retired for good in 1998 and later sold to a collector in Ohio. There, it remained in storage for over 20 years until yesterday when the Pennsylvania Trolley Museum here in Washington received a special delivery. We got the first phase of our terrible trolley project accomplished, which is the acquisition phase. We moved the car uh, from uh, Ashley, Ohio to Washington, PA. We're going to accurately repaint it to 1980. So it will have four Super Bowls, not six on it, because that's what it had then. And we're, since we're a museum, that's what we're going to do. We got permission from the Steelers, the Eamon Foundation, which owns the rights to the Terrible Towel, since this is called the Terrible Trolley, and also the NFL. And for the nine-year-old from the 80s who generated all this. I love the idea that, you know, I'm provably, verifiably responsible for the existence of the Terrible Trolley. It's uh, It makes me happy. John Shumway, KDKA-TV News.